Background Sync, Section 7. In this section, we are going to take a look at how Background Sync helps and how it works. So, we will implement everything with our final project throughout this section. And we're going to register a synchronization task. And then we're going to store our data while our application is offline in IndexedDB. And then we're going to sync back the data from IndexedDB to server from Service Worker. And then we're going to talk about periodic sync. So with that said, we are ready to start how background sync helps in the next video. I'll see you there. How background sync helps. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the theory behind background sync. So imagine that we have a website and we already have uh, internet connectivity. So we can go ahead and register our service worker, talk to service worker, and even talk to our server from service worker, which we already know. This is fine. But the problem is when we don't have internet connectivity. So when we don't have internet connectivity, we still can go ahead and talk to our service worker. We have access to cache API, for instance, some kind of storage like cache api or index db also service worker already has access to index db as well so what we can do here we can let our user continue working with application store the data while they are offline in the service work in index db and then here as soon as the data is stored in index db we can register a background scene task and that means as soon as the connectivity reestablished the sync event will fire in service worker so now in service worker we have access to this event and then when that connectivity reestablished we can go ahead and read the data from index db which has not been sent to server yet so we can access to those data and then send them back to server. This is super cool, isn't it?